speaking through my teeth. Uh, <laughs> I've been compiling stories of other brothers who passed away. And I always saw that as something that I really had to do. Stories that I felt should not be allowed to die. Then people kept asking, what about your own story? And I was asked this many times, when are you going to write your own story? I had no inclination to write about myself. I didn't see anything worth writing about. <clears throat> but then along comes Michael, and he insisted that you must write your story. To his insistence, together with Marjorie's uh, professional editing, that has seen it come to the light of day. But I really must thank you all for being so patient with me over the years, and above all, sorry for those people I may have offended. But I must also suggest that there are stories that should have been told and that have been lost. When I came to St. Michael's, I was very conscious of the fact that I was resting on other people's shoulders. The people who had gone before us, like B.J. Morsain, Professor Morsain is here with us, and other, down through the years, the people who built up St. Michael's, and people like uh, uh, or Lipsing, or Lipsing, Lipsing on, Lipsing on, who sustained the cultural life of St. Michael's for, for generations. And that in my years in Singapore, we used to read the magazine from Ebo with great delight, always his work. So people like that have gone into history. Nobody has written up their stories. My humble suggestion is. If nothing else, take a cue from Brother Vincent, start writing your own stories. And it is not your children that will appreciate, or perhaps your grandchildren, but your great-grandchildren. I have people coming back looking for information about brothers who passed away many years ago. They want to hear about it now. Not the children, not the nephews, nieces, or grand nephews, grand nieces, but the Great grand news, great grand news. As for Patrick, he has raised the topic before about understanding what Brother Vincent is saying. And my answer to him that time is that I come from a culture where it is not always seen to be dignified, to be easily understood. <laughs> many wise things, and one of those was wish to God the gift to give us to see ourselves as others see us. So this is going to be my experience as I read the comments that you've been writing about me, the memories that you have, how you saw me, and to give me a hint as to perhaps the right or wrong. I must thank very sincerely Michael, uh, your president, and Margie for bringing this to light. And then I must thank in a very special way Brother Matthew for that lovely cover. The cover, as you see, is not just for the Vincent, but in the background, a suggestion of La Salle, John Baptist La Salle. It's now almost 70 years since I joined the brothers, and uh, I have no regrets. Joining the brothers opened up many, many new worlds for me. It became truly life of the ever dawn. Life ever dawn. That has been my life. God bless you all. Thank you, Brian Vincent. You have a great Brian Vincent. There we go. Michael and my brother to uh, launch the group. Michael, this lead the way. Okay, when the thing drops, you all must shout, stand and clap. Okay, I think it's all right.
Thank you.